right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, if you watched the last one, we build this little room here, eight by ten room, and uh, now let's build some door. Let's build a door, and uh, I guess we can put some windows as well. All right, so let's make the entrance right over here. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to have the door in the middle, so, or say you want to have it in the middle. You don't have to, but uh, have it in the middle. So the first thing you want to do is the line tool. And what's very good about SketchUp is it's going to know where the midpoint is. And you're going to drag it right to the middle. See? See how it, if you hover over it, it says on edge. And you just try to go like to the middle of it where you think is the middle. And there you go. You're going to find it. And you hover that weight and you see that blue circle and you get the midpoint. So just click there. And we want the blue axis because we're building up. Uh, we're gonna build a regular door, I guess, since by standards six foot eight. And I'm gonna hit enter. Um, so now you have uh, the height of the door, and now you wanna build the width of the door, um, which is a regular door is three feet. So since we're in the middle of it, what I usually do is I build to one side a foot and a half, and the other side one foot and a half. That's the way I do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and build with the green axis one foot six inches. And now we escape this, hit the line tool again, and one foot six inches. That way. Uh, now we want to go on the blue axis and build back down. Same here. Oops. Okay. And now you can remove the midpoint since that's just to help you know where the middle is. And there you have your door. Now you're probably saying, well, you know, this is just a bunch of lines. So what happens is, say I was to click uh, this face. You have a face there. Because every time you make a set of points, it makes a face. Like, for example, you know, you make, you can, this, and that's a face. Uh, that's a and see if you were to erase it, the thing uh, SketchUp is, uh, which is different from other 3D programs, is there's nothing in between. It's just a face, and then there's another face on the other side. There's nothing in the middle of it. So, which makes it a little trickier when you're building, uh, you know, doors and windows. So what I do is I usually select, and to select something, like select multiple things at the same time, you hit the control button on your on your keyboard hold it down you hold one line hold one line and say oops I click that by accident you're gonna hit shift and you're gonna see it so you see that minus sign next to the cursor you with with the shift key down you can click that and it unchecks it see how it would uncheck something that's if you made a mistake so I hit control and check that again all right so now you get to use the move tool See how it's move copy, and I'm going to use it as the copier. And if you watch the first one, I told you, the first tutorial, I told you that uh, to use the copy tool, you uh, use the control. All key, and you're going to use the move tool at the same time. And so you're going to hold control, and you're going to pick an endpoint. doesn't matter really which one. I'll use this one. And do not let go of control and click the and click the, the with the move tool and then you can let go of the of the control key. All right, so now you can orbit. Just don't click nothing and just wait to get the axis because you want that exactly the right axis. And if you remember, the thickness of the wall was six inches. So at the red axis, you have that. You're gonna hit six. Make sure it's at the red axis. And then this is going to work out perfectly. And there you have it. There you have uh, the, the other side of the wall. And you're going to erase that. You can erase that. And you could also erase the other side. And there you have the door. Now, one problem is, you know, if you want to make this look really nice, what I usually do is I, I make a line just to make it seem like, you know, there's something <laughs> between each wall. I make a line between each space there and it's gonna make a face see how it makes a face there 
and if you want a face there you just need a line at each side see how it makes a face there and there are two that's the only one missing and now there that looks like you know pretty much a realistic door opening and you know if you want that part of it too see how those floors are different color you can go ahead and erase that that's the other and just reverse the face there you have it. That's a door opening. Uh, and for a window, it's pretty much the same concept. Um, I guess I'll do, I'll do one again. Uh, if you want to make a window, say, uh, let's make it three feet from the floor. You're going to take the tape measuring tool, and you're going to click at the bottom, and you're going to measure up. And you're going to click three feet. And it gives you these guidelines. See these dotted lines? They're guidelines. That's what they're called. And now you could take the line command or the line tool. And, you know, anywhere there. Let's just build a, I don't know, a two foot window. Um, two by, I don't know, three, four. And there you go. There you have a window. And. Remember that you would, you would do the same thing, so you get it to the other side. Make sure it's on the red axis, and remember six inches tall, and there you have it. There's your window. Um, you can erase these guidelines if you'd like. It's a nod to you, and it's an order. You could also go to view, and if you want to set guides, you could go ahead and uncheck that. If you have like guides and you just want to remove them from the view and you know just do this click in the middle and make it look nice and there you have it there's your window and um, you know this is pretty much how you get started building a room or I mean a house and a big building you know and anything you want to build this is the simple way to start it so there we have a door and there we have a window and uh, yeah, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.